Welcome to the vlog, bitch. I just woke up, so I look, wait for it, crusty bobasty. And also, don't mind my saggy titties. <laughs> Enjoy the vlog. I am starting my day bright and early at 7 a.m. So let's get started. First things first, taking out our retainer. Retainer haul. We gotta kiss it. Mm -hmm, that's right. Okay, amen. And before I forget, we gotta pluck the witch hair. Yeah, this little bitch is always popping out. Yeah. Got it. Next up is the pep talk. Here we go. Yeah, you are smart. You are beautiful. You got it going on. This is gonna be your year. <laughs> what a sight. Like this image does not need any type of filter or distortion. This is probably truly the ugliest face I've ever made in my entire life. Like, is this what I look like putting my... <laughs> <laughs> Here's me singing to the camera like I've been doing crack my eyes are so red and then I hear something. I look out. Did y'all hear that? What was that? Oh shit, it was just my fat ass cat, Sheila. Hey bitch. And just like that, I'm done. Ready to go. Outfit ready. Hair not really washed. Little bit of an OOTD for you, squat formation. Also, I have these shoes. My parents said they look like clown shoes. I personally <laughs> like them. They're size too big, but I feel like I can rock them. And while we're on the topic of shoes, I have this pair right here. They're Doc Martens. The guy at the store told me that they were unisex, but everyone and their mother is letting me know that I look like I could do an Irish jig. Someone help me. Are these good? Are these, are these likable i feel like i i can probably pair them with some rolled up jeans who knows hey it's early and we're doing it i didn't explain what i was doing <laughs> basically what we're doing is we're in the car right now it is 7 45 almost and we are gonna wait in line to get tickets to i don't want to mispronounce her name i think it's like yayo kasuma you've probably seen her work she's the artist behind the infinity mirror exhibit the tickets are sold out for the whole time that it's gonna be in atlanta but they're giving away a hundred tickets every Every day to the people who wait outside and that's us because we're whores for art but we're going to Starbucks now because we're hungry and thirsty and, and yeah okay I used to work for the coin I got with the boys yeah. pretend to get money the bums Full circle, everybody. This is the exact same parking spot we sat in when we were eating Chick-fil-A before Music Midtown. If you haven't watched oh that God. vlog, go watch it. I'll card it above. Okay. And it was just, it was us in this parking spot at the Chick-fil-A. Bitch, the fat. Or maybe don't go back and watch that video because, oof, cha, this is not my best look. <laughs> Talk about crusty, bo busty, bitch. She's eating her minis. I opted for those fusus vida egg bite. Oh my god, I'm so cultured. I'm so proud of how I did my makeup. Oh my god, this new eyeshadow. Can you see it? So here's the deal. We parked and we got out and this lady was like, are you guys going to the uh, Infinity Mirror exhibit? And we we're like, yes, ma'am, we are. And in that moment, I knew she was gonna say some shit that was gonna not be good. And she said that they were already sold out and people have been waiting since 5 a.m. So we're just sitting in the parking garage. I did my makeup for you, bitch. How dare you be sold out? They're giving away a hundred tickets at will call every day for the next two months that this exhibit is open. And you're telling me people are waiting t at 5 a.m. for tickets? That means people are doing this every day. It says that I can't compute that really. It was truly a bummer that we did not get tickets and a lot of my friends went. So I actually asked for some help. One of my friends, Samia at Samia sauce on Instagram went with her boyfriend. And though I haven't seen her since high school and we rarely talk, I thought to myself, that's absolutely not weird at all to ask for her photo of her and her boyfriend kissing at a museum. So I can then use their photo to put Elena nice face over it as if we went. Here's a photo of us from high school if you don't believe me. And now that I think about it, it is kind of weird that I'm doing a whole ass voiceover with just her face on the screen so let's move on i'm just gonna put my face on top of hers and elena's face on top of her boyfriend's and here we are a kissing couple um love it live it and i do ship it so thanks to mia you can follow her on instagram and you can follow her boyfriend as well thanks to mia for all your help and i do realize this is a little weird and samia when i instagram dm'd you and asked you to use your photo this is probably not what you were thinking but once again thank you for your contribution of your photo and i'm sorry <laughs> 
right, bitches and hoes, we are walking um, in the streets of Midtown Atlanta. We're gonna go to the park and ride birds because we can go see that art exhibit that I got ready for. Suspect. God, it's all um, what the why is it tail going like that is that like defense mode quacky bobacky boacky boflacky i'm talking to the duck because i'm talking to the ducks or the wait what are these called are these geese they're ducks oh i'm a dummy quacky bobacky bitch disgusting hello <laughs> hello i look like ass it's after the holidays and i'm also sick and i just thought i would daily vlog because i haven't left the house um in a minute but happy new year everybody it's a new year i'm gonna lock my doors so i'm on my way to go pick up a friend and we're gonna go get coffee at my favorite coffee place <laughs> You guys are really persistent and asking me where my videos are. I just want to say I appreciate that you like my videos like it's so nice. However, I'm one person and I do all my own editing and filming and I Yum, I don't know what that was in my mouth <laughs> But thank you. So it takes me a little while to get everything done. Uh, the editing is the most crucial part of my videos. As you people know, I edit the f out of my videos. I over edit and I do all kinds of crazy, crazy, sh crazy bo crazy thing. Crazy bo squazy. Crazy so <laughs> I am crazy. <laughs> um, I, I'm also watering out of my eyes. I'm gonna try to plan so hard to upload more than once a week but it is really hard only because editing takes years upon years anyways x games mode <laughs> starting off 2019 strong starting off 2019 strong goodbye so i I went and got coffee with, and um, next door there's a GameStop, and I sold my camera. I sold my my my, my DSLR to save money because it's 2019 and we're saving money. And I sold it, and I yeah it means I have money because I sold it. And then I got. A Switch, but it's a Fortnite one because it's the only one they had left. So I'm officially a gamer girl. I love Fortnite. So I got a Switch. Get away, get away. Um, get, get, all of you go. It's my Fortnite. Go, don't, don't touch it. Go, go, get away. Get away, get away. This is this not is my, not living, my room. living room. So hi everyone. As you can tell, I'm like coming in and you know, interrupting the vlog um, only because I really wanted to talk to you about what's been on my mind lately. I know I'm super silly and super funny on this channel, but I'm also a really deep human being. <laughs> it feels, <laughs> it feels like annoying saying that like, Indeed. Part of this vlog was filmed before the new year. I was really pumped and motivated at the end of 2018. Basically, everyone who's watching this is new to my channel. Um, that's good. As soon as my channel started to go on the up and up, you know, like my, my subscribers were going like this, but my creativity was just going down. For the last six months, I have truly been so dedicated to my channel. I have worked so extremely hard. I have executed some ideas that I've had in my head for months. And then when they were all gone, I don't think I gave myself time to come up with more ideas. Like, like I wasn't coming up with ideas as I was making content. And here we are at the time where my channel is at its all time best. 
I'm having a creator's block really, really bad. I meant to say I'm having a creative block um, because I'm a dummy who can't speak. Fucking dumbass. And it has made me really depressed lately. I have been anxiety ridden. I have been stressing so much about this to the point where I've been getting severe anxiety. The vlog that you just saw, I've edited probably like three times because I was just sitting here overthinking it because I have this whole new audience of people and all that anxiety and stress has I guess in turn made me less creative because I've been so consumed by the fact that all these new people are watching and I have personally put all these expectations on me that no one else really is like people are subscribing because they like what I already have like the videos that I've already posted I guess I've sort of like rewired my head to think that I need to be something so much better than what I already have and people already like what I have and like I'm overthinking all my editing and it's just something that I'm struggling with very much. This also wouldn't happen if you didn't suck at time management, bitch. Last night was probably the worst. I started editing this video and I got so in my head and I got so frustrated because I'm like, this isn't good enough. The new people are expecting this, blah, 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 blah. Last night I tried to make another video like in the middle of the night, but then just got sad and frustrated with that because when you're already frustrated and you try to do something to fix that frustration, it never works. And then I got stressed out. I just played Mario Kart all night. So there's that. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be honest. If we're gonna be honest, it's a little stressful when people pop up in my DMs asking for videos, where are the videos? Love y'all the most, but sis is stressed. <laughs> sis is already really stressed. <laughs> No, but like I love it. Like it's so nice. People are like, I'm waiting for videos. I love your videos. But I don't wanna come off as ungrateful because I'm so, like the gratefulness is just like, here. No, but in all honesty, I'm proud of myself. I really am. And I am so thankful for everyone out there. I don't want to come off as complaining because that is not what I'm doing. Please bear with me during this learning process. We're all learning here. I've never had this many subscribers. I've never had this many people watching me. I always knew that like I had something inside of me. <sighs> that was deep. I always knew I love to make people laugh. Like, ooh, like the best thing in the world is like when you say a joke and like the belly laugh, like the, the laugh, the laugh deep within that core. To end this off, I wanna say my biggest New Year's resolution is to stop putting so much pressure on myself and just appreciate the stuff that I make. I obviously wanna make my audience happy. I wanna make you people happy. I wanna put out good content. More than anything, I wanna make myself happy. I wanna feel fulfilled with the content that I put out there. And if I can't feel fulfilled, I won't be able to make everyone else feel fulfilled. But I am proud of myself because the old Kaylee, like Kaylee a year ago, would have probably thrown in the towel, called it quits. Is that self growth? Is that self growth? I think I'm growing. Once again, I wanna thank you from the bottom of my heart for subscribing to my channel and for liking the stuff that I put out there. It has literally been my dream. A few days ago, I asked you guys to send me your New Year's resolutions. So I'm gonna go ahead and roast them. This person says, I just want chicken. And I have to say, boy me too. This one actually made me laugh. Martha says her New Year's resolution is to ruin her life again, but in different ways. And I also need my Mr. Ruin My Life 2K19. <laughs> Makeup by MCC says they want to lose weight because they are fat and ugly. Um. Love yourself 2K19! Jamie X Laura says they want to save their fucking money. We out here being frugal! frugal. To stop being afraid of expressing my feelings towards people I love and care about. We start in 2019 off with honest. Honest. honest! Some of these are nasty. Nasty! And here are some of my favorites. Cry less. Cry more. Eat ass. And that's it. Thank you guys literally so much for watching. Like I said, if you could bear with me, I'm trying to get my shit together. It's gonna happen. 2K19, it's gonna be good. All right guys, I'll see you next time.